Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back. We're about to run into a local market called Zebra Foods. This is located in the ironbound section of Newark, um, New Jersey. We're gonna go in here and check it out. I've never been in here before personally, so I can imagine how their prices are because it is a local. They got their name up there. So as soon as you walk in, they do have water lined up, six twenty nine dollars for the Pure Life. And you only get $28, you guys. $7.19 for the Poland Spring, and you only get $24. And the Kirkland brand, which I believe is a Costco brand, is $6.99. Um, how many you get, though? Forty. And then these liter bottles are $13.99 and you get 12. That's what it's looking like. When you first walk in, they do have fruit available. They got some grapes coming in at $1.99 a pound, y'all. Not bad. Let's see. But they got the Granny Smith coming in at $1.99 a pound as well. They got the Apple Golden Delicious coming in at $0.99 cent a pound. They have some mandarins coming in at $0.89 cents each. They have plenty of fruit that they still need to go ahead and put up. Just a few gaps when it comes down to the produce. Um, not that many. Like They do have it available, which is great. While walking through the store, when you come in at any local store, the prices are going to seem a bit high. Um, $5.99 for some orange juice. And then for 18 pack of eggs here, they're charging $9. $9, you guys, and 89 cents. Can you believe that? They do have a frozen section. It looks pretty good. Um, they also have a bakery section over there as well not bad at all um just a few minor gaps for certain things nothing too serious but overall this store is well stocked not bad at all i really came here to see what their um meat section is looking like oh So, for some chicken thighs, family pack, it's six six seventy six. Yes, that's not bad at all. Because it is a family pack, and with the price of everything going up, it's like a barbecue in here. Oh, wait, they got a wholesale club open to the public. All right. Open to the public. But oh, they got a weekly sale today. For two sixty nine a pound of chicken breast, but they don't have it available right now. I guess they're gonna bring it out later. They advertise these sales, but then it don't be here. Oops! So they do have a butcher shop available, as you guys can see. Um, these are just some of the oh, these chicken wings are big. They're coming in at three ninety nine a pound. Chicken legs coming in at a dollar. So they have oxtails. Those things are big. These oxtails are huge. Would you get that? They are too big, right? They huge. Let's look at the fish. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> so you get to see like the different variety of meats and stuff that they do eat. Like this is like the Portuguese um, 
iron bound section. <laughs> I like to see the different variety of things. I told you I used to be so into candy, y'all. Get yeah, older, oh, gotta back up. Um, I like to see the different variety of things that the local stores have to offer that our other stores do not offer. Um, so yeah, that'd be real interesting. I'm not too sure if I'm buying anything today, but this is a store that I wanted to check out. A little bit low on the snacks, high price, $4.69 for some Keebler Fingers, $4.69. That's high price, y'all. That's very, very high price. No matter where you go, it's still gonna be a gap with the snacks. So that was the end of our visit overall. Um, it was a great experience because they do have different type of things. You know, if you're looking for more so international foods, these are the kind of supermarkets to visit. So yes, those are the kind of stores that you visit um, if you're looking for like international foods and stuff like that. Like I said, this is like the Portuguese, um, Hispanic area. So definitely those are the kind of stores that they do shop in because most of their hometown stuff is in, sold in those type of stores. The prices are a little bit steep. I came out with no bags. So now we're just walking over to another spot that's right across the parking lot um, just to check it out. See what it's looking like. It's like you could live somewhere your whole life and then don't visit certain places just because. I don't know. Sometimes you just got to step out your comfort zone. Um, so anyway, yes, these are some pictures that I did take. So they're here at the end of the video. The watermelon had the black seeds, y'all. Hardly see that anymore. They had plenty of peanut butter, guys. I mean, plenty of peanut butter. They have rice available. But if you're looking at the price, it's $14.99 for a 20-pound bag of Carolina rice. $29.99 for the Carolina jasmine rice. And $14.99 for the other Carolina and uh, $15.99 for another 20 pound bag of rice. To me, those prices are ridiculous because they are much cheaper and like ShopRite and even Walmart. So I would not buy rice from here. Their eggs was, listen, their eggs was high, high. $9.99 for an 18 pack of eggs. I'm sorry, guys, that's $9.89. I don't know what I was looking at, but $9.89 for an 18-pack of eggs. They did have a nice stock of eggs available, though. Um, Wasn't too many people in the store today, so, you know, it was really calm, really quiet. But it was the top of the morning as well. They did have dry beans available. Most bags was under $3. The canned fish, they had that available as well. But it was some gaps there. Definitely not a store I would probably visit again just because of some of the prices. Um, if I'm looking for something in particular, let's say I'm trying a new recipe and I need one of those international ingredients or something, then definitely maybe so. Now, when it came down to the meat, you guys, I was iffy just because if you look at these pictures posted here and you look at that little yellow in the left hand corner down there. Yeah, I don't really know about all of that, but they did sell other meats that's not sold in stores. Like for instance, they sold Bill Tongue. It's not for me, but they did have it available. And look how interesting that look. They lamb, lamb, lamb rack, 1925, y'all. 1925 for some lamb, y'all. Their coffee, they did have some coffee available um prices like i said the coffee is going up so i can't really say too much of the prices of the coffee they have some sugar available as well look way better than my last walmart trip that's what i can tell you guys um they also have salt available plenty of salt plenty of salt plenty of salt so it is good like if you notice that one item is missing out of a store that you usually go to if you don't mind spending that extra few cents to extra few dollars or so then visit out visit one of your little local stores they most likely have the items just because a lot of stuff do stay on their shelves because their prices are typically a little bit more higher they did have their meat section they had a fish section overall they had a lot of options in this store um so i can't get mad they even had their own little whole 
sale department that was open to the public. But we didn't really visit that area right there. But I did get a just a few pictures just to see what it is that they had. I know that they was going to be high just because it's a, you know, high price store overall anyway. um, Plenty of water stacked up to the top while all our other stores are struggling to keep water. Um, So if you want to spend that extra buck, visit your local store. So, yeah, we're going to end this video here. You guys already saw me do the outro. These are just a few pictures. That's pretty much it. Oh, gosh. $86, y'all, for this boneless top. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all see that? Do you, look at the screen. I don't buy this stuff. So, I don't know if it's supposed to look gray like that. I really don't know. But if you wasn't looking at the screen, look at the screen. Rewind it if you got to go back. I don't know if it was supposed to look like that. Um, but it's not something that I will buy. Y'all look at the price of this butter. Because I'm about to end this video right here. Yes, that do say $9.79 for a tube of butter. And yes, that do say $11.99 for I can't believe it's not butter. So yes, the price of butter did go up as well. But that right there is ridiculous for that price. Um, I want to thank you guys for coming in with me to Zebra Foods um yes located in the ironbound section of newark new jersey very interesting guys very very interesting let me know if you guys eat some of this stuff that was posted in this video like the veal tongue the pig head and all of that stuff let me know if you guys chow down on some of that stuff and what kind of recipes y'all make up out of that stuff there very interesting it really is um thank you all for coming along Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe if you're new here. If you're already subscribed and got that bell on, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming back. That's pretty much it, you guys. We've been, you know, editing videos back to back over here. Um, trying to get some videos out to you guys. I took a break already and yeah. And I'm back out here hitting these streets, going to the stores. You guys know we have our weekly Walmart trips as well. So make sure you guys are always staying tuned for that as well. That's pretty much it. Let's say it, y'all. Let's say it. Make sure that you all stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe, and remain beautiful queens and kings. I am out.